This is part three of the interpreting motion graphs video series. Uh, this one will cover basically how to answer graphing motion questions on a quiz versus on a lab. Um, so as we talked about in class, for a quiz, you can do it in very basic form, right? You always want to talk about when and where, meaning the time and the distance, or when and how fast, time and velocity, and a really short description. Um, on a quiz, that can be like a word or two. So one example would be right here. Seconds one to two moved from three to four meters away from motion sensor. And you could even get rid of, you know, if you wanted to be super, you know, like note form, right? Just moved three to four meters, just like that, away, right? And I will know that you mean away from the motion sensor. Because on a quiz, you have a lot of information that you need to get down really quickly. So I'm trying to make it simple and easy for you to do. So seconds one to two, move three to four meters away. Right? And that tells me that you know that you moved away from the motion sensor three to four meters in the first two seconds, right? From seconds one to two. Um, that would be perfectly acceptable. Um, you could also label it, just like we've been doing here, label it, you know, right here, seconds one to two, you know, move three to four meters. And I know that actually what this description is doesn't match with this graph. Um, I think I came up with this description just randomly. So if you're thinking, no, that doesn't make sense with the graph, you're correct. Um, so that's for a quiz, short, sweet, to the point. For a lab, it needs to be a little bit longer, but not much. Um, if the lab question is, you know, how did you create this graph? How did you match this graph? How would you explain to someone how to create it again? You know, something along those lines. You're going to include the same information, the when and the where, or the when and the how fast, and a description. But now it should be full sentences. I suggest actually numbering or bullet pointing it so that it's a method, right? It's, we did this or do this, right? It can either be descriptional, we did this thing, or telling somebody, here's what you're going to do. So I've given you two, exa two examples here. Um, the first one is, from seconds one to two, move away from the motion sensor from three meters to four meters, period, right? So this tells you everything you need to know. Once again, it's got the time, it's got the fact that you're moving, and you're moving away, and it's three to four meters. So it's the same information, but now it's just a sec. It's just a sentence. You've added in some extra words. So from seconds one to two, move away from the motion sensor from three meters to four meters. And this is in terms of writing it as a method, telling somebody what to do. Another way you could do it is do it descriptional. So here I've used the word I and whoops, I and moved. Um, so in the first two seconds, right, you could change it up from seconds one to two, that's fine, or you could keep it from seconds one to two. In the first two seconds, I moved away from the motion sensor from three meters to four meters. Same information, just a slightly different wording. And there's, of course, a ton of other varieties of ways that you could do this. Um, I'm just giving you two examples. So for a quiz, short, sweet, to the point, basic information, tell me the time and tell me where, or tell me the time and how fast, the velocity. Um, and just basic information. For the lab, same information, but make it into a full sentence. Um, I would, you know, this is for like questions three and I think like six or seven ask you to explain how you matched the graph, both for the position graph and for the velocity graph. It says, you know, how did you match this? And I would do it just step by step. You know, if there, if there were, if the graph looked something like this, then there'd be one, two, three steps, right? You don't need to have a step for every individual second. You know, that doesn't make sense. That's not what we did in lab. We would talk about each individual line, right? So I think that's the same thing that you should do here because really what you did from seconds zero to, or, you know, from five to six is the same as six to seven, seven to eight, eight to nine, nine to 10. So there's no point in dividing all those up into individual seconds. Talk about that line as a whole, what you were doing. Um, let me know if you've got any questions and feel free to send me a draft of your lab.